This video is to demonstrate how one can easily create a VB script in Excel that translates an EDI file into an Excel spreadsheet 2007. Before we start, make sure you've installed the EDI Dev Framework EDI software on your machine. Let's now run Excel. Click on the Developer tab, then on Insert, then select the ActiveX control button to add a command button on a spreadsheet that we'll use to start the translation. Right click on the button and select properties. To make its name more user friendly, change the name to CMD Translate. As well as change the caption to Translate. That's better. Now, while still in design mode, double click on the button. It will take us to the VB editor. In here, we can see that it has automatically created a procedure header for the translate button. But before we can start writing code, we have to reference the Freddy Com component. So from the menu, select Tools, then References. In the available reference dialog box, let's find the EDDEV framework EDI. Then select it and click OK. Now that we've referenced the Freddy component, we can now write code that will use the component's functions to help us create an EDI translator. First thing we do is declare objects. So let us declare an OEDI doc object for the EDI file we will be translating. Then an O segment object for the segments that make up the EDI file. Now that we've done that, let's instantiate the OEDI doc object. Then call its method to load a Ceph file and its method to load an EDI file. Just for instructional purposes, I've loaded the same EDI file into the EDI dev eFile manager utility so that we can view the file we are translating in a user-friendly format. Okay, the algorithm to the translation program is to start with the first data segment, which is the ISA, then iterate through each of these segments. While reading their data elements. So let us go back to our program and do just that. This is the command line to get the first data segment. Let's write the code for the loop that will iterate through the EDI file. Reading a segment at a time until there isn't any more. Inside the loop, we will declare three variables that will help identify a segment uniquely. A variable for the segment's area, one for the loop section, another for the segment ID. Next, we create if conditions in the loop so as to find the data segment we want and pull values from its data elements. So for example, going back to the eFile Manager, if we wanted to get the value of this data element, we see that it's in data element position number two in data segment BGN, which is not in any loop and is in an area one. So let's write a code to check for all that. First, we write an if condition to check for area one then another to check that the segment does not belong in any loop. 
We add another condition to check that its segment ID is BGN. Finally, we get the value from data element position 2 of the segment and place it in a cell located in row 2, column B of the spreadsheet. Before I run this program, I'm going to put a message box down here just to let us know when the translation is done. I am also going to save it as a macro-enabled workbook. Okay, let's minimize this editor. and run the program by clicking on the translate button. It's done. And here's the data we want and got from the EDI file. Wasn't that easy? Basically, to retrieve other values from the EDI file, you would use the same logic and do the same thing. Let's close this example program and bring up a more complete version of one. Here it is. It's a little longer, but the concept of mapping the data is the same. Let's try running it by clicking on the translate button. Make sure that macro is enabled. Let's try again. There, it's done. And here's how the output looks.